it's winter time out there and burr, it can be cold. So let me show you how to make some of my favorite vegetable vegetarian soups. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Get Your Garlic On Show. I'm Sherry Kazawi, and today I thought that we could just make vegetable soup. It's very easy the way I do it because I just go through the refrigerator and find any leftover vegetables and make vegetable soup. So I'll show you my way. I found celery, onion, cauliflower, kale, I found parsley, red bell pepper, zucchini, carrots, and onion, and of course, garlic, and some peas. So I thought we could just get creative together because vegetable soup is very healing, you know, and it's very soothing when it's cold outside. Now it's winter time. A lot of us are in a hurry and there's a quicker way to make vegetable soup instead of having to chop every single vegetable. I take my handy dandy food processor yeah. and what I'm going to do is put some of the vegetables in here that I think I can slice up. And I'm using the one that slices the blade here. So let's just start with a couple stalks of celery kind of noisy. <laughs> and let's try a zucchini. I'm going to take the end off. I'll put a zucchini in there. Now let's try a carrot. I'm going to take the end off again and just throw a whole carrot in there. And I'm going to show you what the vegetables look like. Now I'm going to put half of a red bell pepper in there. So I just put all my vegetables in a big bowl. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut the kale and a little bit of the cauliflower by hand because it's going to be a little chunky. And the kale, I don't think, would be very good in a food processor. <laughs> These are the bloopers here. <laughs> Alrighty, my kale is sliced up, so I'm going to put that over here to the side. And then I'm going to cut up a little bit of my cauliflower. I'm only going to use a little bit of cauliflower because I don't want it to taste like cauliflower soup. I want it to taste like vegetable soup. So I'm just going to cut off a few big pieces and I'll put that in the bowl with the rest of the vegetables that we're going to put in the vegetable soup. Okay, I brought my little speedy food processor back because I'm going to put half of an onion, a red onion, and half of a yellow onion and slice it up and then I'm going to throw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten cloves of garlic in there because I like everything extra garlicky. And this is my special extra garlicky vegetable soup that we're making today. So let's get those onions in there. And I, I hope I don't cry. Throw my garlic in there. Okay. So now what I do is I take a soup pot and I pour probably about five tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom. And now I'm going to put my onions and garlic in here to saute them first before I put in the vegetables and water or broth that we might make. All right, here goes my onions and garlic into the pot and we're going to saute this. I'm going to put my sliced 
kale and parsley in the soup at the last 10 minutes because kale and parsley don't need to cook for a really long time. Okay, I just got my onions and garlic off the stove and they're nice and browned. So now what I'm gonna do is put in my big pot of the vegetables and I'm gonna put four cups of water. I found tomato sauce in the refrigerator, so I'm putting a cup of tomato sauce in there for some flavor. I went out to the garden and got a teaspoon of oregano and I chopped it, so it's fresh oregano. And I always like to put cayenne pepper, just a splash in there. This is bay leaves, so I'm going to put two bay leaves in there. And you have to understand this is an experiment. I'm just taking vegetables that I have around the house to make really good vegetable soup. But if you're not a vegetarian, you could probably throw chicken or meat in here and it would probably turn out amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the stove and let it cook for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna taste it and see if the vegetables are tender. I just got my soup off the stove and I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs any seasonings, any salt and pepper. And I'm also gonna taste the vegetables because I said it's not good to overdo your vegetables. But first I just want you to take a look at how pretty this is. This is hot, very vegetable-y soup. You see that, how pretty that is? Yeah. All those colors. Wow. I'm now going to test the soup. Bayera, bayera ya papa, baya papara. The vegetables are still a little crunchy, so that's good. So now I'm going to put in my parsley and my kale and a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning and cook this for another 10 minutes. If you want to get fancy and you're over 21, throw in a splash of some wine. And if you want to get even more extreme, put a little Parmesan cheese in there. So while my big pot of vegetable soup is cooking, I just want to do a quick news press release. I have the Get Your Garlic On cookbook. It is now out. So if any of you are interested in extra garlicky recipes, it's out. It's out. Okay, I just brought the soup off of the stove and it looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna put some in a bowl. It has all kinds of beautiful colors in it. And now, I think I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese on it to make it even extra yummier. Mm, it's really good. Okay, the whole idea of making soup is so that you can eat healthy food on the run if you're really busy and you just have to put it in a jar and take it to work with you and then all your friends at work will say where'd you get the soup and you can say I made it or you can put it in a big jar and give it as a gift to your favorite friend mm. and remember to get your garlic on bye everybody Motion.